Good afternoon, sailors. This is Ben here on behalf of Yachts International, large catamarans for sale.com. I am here in windy Miami, and today we're taking a look at Hero Boat. She's a 2010 Leopard 38 owner version. Uh, now, the Leopard 38 is not a very easy model to find here in North America. In fact, as the time of shooting, she's the only Leopard 38 that I know of for sale in the Americas or the Caribbean. So I'm pretty lucky to have her just kind of land on my doorstep like this. Uh, the boat is equipped with a new dinghy outboard, new batteries, northern lights generator, uh, two new air conditioning units, and as well as has less than a thousand hours on the engine, which is pretty crazy when you think about a boat which is almost 10 years old. Uh, the boat has been kept at a, on a lake in Louisiana for most of its life, so she really shows at about half her age. All in all, just a pretty amazing find. Uh, maybe got a water maker and she's ready to cruise the Bahamas. So if at this point you just want to go to the walkthrough, feel free to skip ahead, but I'm going to do a quick digression on why I think the Leopard 38 and its sister ship, the 39, are two excellent owner version catamarans that you can get for under $300,000. Now most catamarans come in two different layouts, the owner version and the charter version. The owner versions have a tendency to hold a premium over the charter versions for two different reasons. The first is that most owner versions just don't see as much use within charter fleets as your average charter version catamaran. As a result, they tend to have a little lower engine hours and just less wear and tear in general. The second is that owner versions have a premium in the aftermarket since they're more popular with liveaboards. If you're a small cruising couple or uh, you know a small family, you might not just need that many cabins. and. So why not just have a slightly bigger cabin, slightly bigger head, and more storage space? Now recently I was tasked with the job of finding a suitable Leopard 39 charter version on behalf of a buyer. A task which I thought would be relatively easy until I began my search in earnest. Uh, only to be swamped with a preponderance of owner versions. It turns out after crunching some numbers and making some calls that the Leopard 38 and 39 were produced with disproportionate owner version ratios. Uh, allow me to explain. Uh, typically, the ratio of charter versions to owner versions for any given model of catamaran which is expected to go into charter is about 9 to 1. However, in the Leopard 38 and 39, that ratio is about 50-50. There are a couple of reasons for this, but the important takeaway is that they're not that hard to find, and if you do buy one, they tend to hold their value a little better. Now they are a bit on the smaller side, but we're talking about a leopard uh, catamaran from the beginning of this decade, so in terms of space efficiency, it's going to be pretty great. So with all that said, let's go aboard. So this is Hero Boat, she's a Leopard 38. I'm standing on the starboard sugar scoop, so we'll start by taking a quick peek at the mechanical space. This boat is powered by dual Yanmar 30 engines. Now an interesting to note about this specific Leopard 38 is that this hard top over the helm station is actually not standard. It was at an addition by the owner. And on the Leopard 38, the other part of the hard top is actually raised a little bit higher than the Leopard 39. So on this model, you actually have more visibility than your average Leopard 39, as well as the benefit of this enclosure. We'll come back to the cockpit in a bit, but we'll make our way forward for now. Nice, why, nice grab rail on the side. Single piece trampoline, as well as your furling uh, head sail, and a code zero, uh, a bowsprit for asymmetrical or code zero. Take a second to admire the lines on this boat. It doesn't have a front porch, it's a little too small for that, but uh, you know, you do have a nice kind of area up here for bean bags or uh, chairs to just kind of lounge around. We'll take a quick look at the rig. It's a single spreader rig, nice and simple.
you have your mast winches for cranking up halyards and some of the control lines, most of them are led back. On top of the bimini, have a pair of solar panels, main sheet, traveler, as well as nice easy access to the stack pack. As we head back, it's, it's nice and easy to come back here. This uh, shroud mostly stays out of the way. On some other catamarans, sometimes the uh, rigging can get in the way, but I think they designed it so that that's not much of an issue. On the back here, we have a swim ladder, as well as nice wide sugar scoop, pretty low to the uh, water. Makes it easy to get in and out. Davits on this boat are nice and high, keep your dinghy out of the water. As well as you have a sofa and U-shaped settee. Easily accommodate about half a dozen people. Or hang a hammock. <laughs> Coming up we have a uh, offset raised helm station. Pair of self-tailing Harkin winches. One of these is upgraded to be an electric. You have your most important control lines, as well as your engine throttles, compass, a Garmin chart plotter, and Raymarine electronics. And although I'm a bit tall, so I don't exactly uh, speak for everyone, but visibility from up here is pretty excellent in my opinion. can definitely see all four corners of the boat as well as give you a nice view of Biscayne Bay and of course you have your steering wheel and engine controls and tachometers we'll make our way inside the salon we have another u-shaped seating area as well as with on all leopards easy access to the AC, DC, radio, stereo, and all your other electronic controls. Have a TV on here as well. Thing is on a folding arm, so you can adjust it and have a nice movie night. Have a U-shaped galley with tons of countertop space, sink, propane stove, and an oven as well as opposite, pretty decent sized refrigerator-freezer combo. Pardon the lighting as we make our way into the owner's suite. We have the owner's cabin, nice big hanging locker, and of course storage on the side for all your books or electronics or whatnot when you're chilling out in bed. Writing desk, as well as a place to charge your laptop or whatnot. More storage space. And more shelving. Here we have the owner's head, the nice big enclosed shower, as well as a sink and vanity. In the porthole we have the guest cabin, aft we have the first guest sleeping area, again like the owner's uh, cabin, more shelving on the side, the ensuite head for the two guest cabins, Oops. detachable shower head. You know, this, this, this head is actually 
pretty spacious considering the constraints they had to work with, as well as your sink and vanity. And the forward guest cabin. You do have an additional V berth up here, but uh, you can use it for storage or if you don't need to sleep someone, as in the case of the owner. More shelving. And a hanging locker. So that is a Leopard 38. In terms of 38s on the market right now, she's definitely one of the bigger kind of boats in the 38 range that you can buy. Um, hope you enjoyed the tour. As always, I don't have a SoundCloud, but feel free to like, subscribe for more videos, and hope to see you soon.